Eternal Twilight, Chronicles of the End Times. The world had ended. It had been two years since the apocalypse had struck, wiping out most of humanity. The few who had survived had to struggle every day to stay alive, scavenging for resources and fighting off the mutated creatures that roamed the Earth. Among the survivors was a small group of five, led by a man named Jack. They had been together since the beginning, finding solace in each other's company in a world that was now dark and terrifying. But as days passed, strange things began to happen. The air was thick with an eerie silence, and the once bustling streets were now empty. The group had heard rumors of a dark force that had caused the apocalypse, and they couldn't help but wonder if it was coming for them next. One day, while out on a supply run, they stumbled upon an abandoned laboratory. It was in the heart of the city, a place that was supposed to be destroyed during the apocalypse. But here it stood, untouched and mysterious. The group cautiously made their way inside, their hearts pounding with fear. The walls were covered in strange symbols and writings, and the air was filled with a foul stench. As they explored further, they came across a room that seemed to be a lab of some sort. There were tables with strange equipment and jars filled with unknown substances. But what caught their attention were the cages scattered around the room. They were filled with creatures that were unlike anything they had ever seen. They were a mix of human and animal, their bodies twisted and distorted. As they were about to leave, Jack noticed a book lying on one of the tables. It was covered in dust and looked ancient picked it up and began to flip through the pages. The book was filled with strange drawings and incantations, all written in a language that he couldn't understand. Suddenly the ground began to shake violently, and the group knew they had to leave the lab immediately. But as they made their way out, they were met with a horrifying sight. The creatures in the cages had escaped and were now standing in front of them, their twisted bodies contorted in unnatural positions. The group ran for their lives, but the creatures were hot on their trail. It was as if they were being controlled by an unseen force, their eyes glowing with an otherworldly light. As they reached the exit, they could feel the ground beneath them giving way. They all fell into a dark pit, and that's when they saw it. The Source of the Apocalypse It was a dark entity, a being of pure evil, surrounded by the mutated creatures that had been chasing them. The group could feel the entity's presence consuming them, filling them with fear and despair. They knew that they were no match for it. But then, Jack remembered the book he had found. He quickly flipped through the pages, searching for something, anything, that could help them. And there it was, an incantitian that seemed to be a spell to banish the entity. With trembling hands, Jack read out the words, and suddenly the ground began to shake again. The entity let out a blood-curdling scream, and the creatures disappeared into thin air. The group climbed out of the pit, shaken but alive. They never spoke of that day again, but they knew that they had come face to face with the horror that had caused the apocalypse. And they also knew that it was still out there, waiting for its next victims. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with Chills Unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.